7.1 uh, says that uh, state Coulomb's law in words uh, that is that uh, the magnitude of the electrostatic force that one point charge exert on another point charge is directly proportional to the product of their charges and inversely proportional to the distance between them. Uh, that is basically uh, the formula for electro electrostatic. Uh, you can see that uh, F is directly proportional to the magnitude of the charges and inversely proportional to the square distances uh, between the point charges. Uh, so let's move ahead. Um, 7.2. 7.2 says, uh, calculate the distance R uh, between uh, the spheres. Uh, if you look at the diagram on the left hand side, uh, we have uh, sphere R and uh, sphere S and then we're supposed to calculate the distance R in between. Yeah, um, if you go through the equation, um, I, just, I didn't go through it in the video just to save you some time. Uh, there it says sphere R. Um, look at the left hand side there. I'm just going to highlight it. Yeah, there we have it. Uh, it says sphere R exists an electrostatic force of magnitude 1.2 times 10 to the negative 3 newtons on sphere S, right? So if uh, we're using this formula, F equals to K, uh, Q1, uh, Q2, uh, divided by R squared, uh, we know that F uh, will be 1.2 uh, times 10 uh, to the power of minus 3 equals to then k is a constant uh, that is 9 times 10 to the power 9 and then q1 uh, will be r in this instance so r uh, the charge is 5 uh, times 10 uh, to the minus 9 uh, multiplied by uh, the charge of sphere s which is um, minus 6 uh, but then on electrostatic force we are only interested on the magnitude so in this instance uh, there's no need to include the sign so it's just going to be 6 uh, times 10 uh, to the minus 9 uh, divided by r squared r squared is what you are interested in so from here it's quite simple uh, the only variable we have is r squared so you just do a bit of math and uh, you solve it also let me go ahead and do that um I'm going to cross multiply. Uh, I'm going to multiply the left hand side by R and then multiply by the right hand side by R. So that will give me um, R squared uh, equals to uh, 9 uh, times 10 to the 9 multiplied by 5. Um, okay, some technical issues. 5 times 10 to the minus 9 uh, multiplied by 6 uh, times 10 uh, to the minus 9 divided by uh, 1.2 times 10 uh, to the minus 3. Uh, so now what's left is uh, taking the square root on both sides. So I'm going to get uh, r uh, equals to 9 times 10 uh, to the 9 uh, multiplied by 5 times 10 to the minus 9 uh, multiplied by 6 times 10 to the minus 9. Everything divided by 1.2 times 10 to the minus 3 and then uh, to the power 1 over 2 and uh, thus taking the square root uh, equals to uh, let me put that uh, in the calculator real quick and see and see what I get so we have 9 uh, times 10 to the 9 multiplied by 5 times 10 to the minus 9 multiplied by 6 times 10 to the minus 9 to the minus 9 uh, divided by 1.2 um, times 10 to the minus 3 everything to the power 1 divided by 2 uh, that gives me 0 0.015 uh, meters so um, yeah that's the value for R uh, let's move ahead uh, 7.3 7.3 says uh, draw a free body diagram uh, for sphere S okay let me go ahead and do that but then like all the time, if you draw a free body diagram for an object, you are probably going to use that free body diagram on the equation that's going to follow. Okay, so let me go ahead and just uh, draw the free body diagram. So uh, this sphere as um, I just highlighted in green on the left hand side. So on sphere S, um, there is a pulling force from sphere R, right? So it's being pulled. Uh, by sphere r because 
uh, r is uh, of an opposite magnitude uh, to sphere s so it's going to pull it and then it's connected to point p by a by a string so uh, going up uh, we have uh, some tension there and then obviously uh we have gravity and then um it's on a surface so because it's on a surface uh, we're going to have um the normal force and then what else do we have uh, we have the tension we have the weight uh, we have um the normal force we have uh the f the force applied by r so i think yeah that's it we're done and then let's move ahead uh 7.4 7.4.1 7.1 uh seven point four point one. Uh, the equation says calculate the tension um in the string in the string so as soon as i think about tension uh, the first thing i run to is f net uh, equals to ma and uh, this is because almost all the time when uh, the question asked me to calculate tension i use this formula so i'm starting here and then i can move elsewhere and then um if you've watched other of my videos uh, i recommend that you go watch them you will know exactly what to do there uh, we're going to okay we're supposed to find the tension um the spheres are stationary right so we know that f net equals to zero okay so let's just uh, put the put that there so there it is we have zero because acceleration is zero um so what we're going to do uh we're going to uh, write uh, the biggest force and then subtract all the other uh, small forces uh, but you can wonder like which one is the biggest force because it's uh, stationary so that means that um all the forces are balancing out uh, we have two forces i uh, have pulling uh, the sphere down the incline and then the tension is pulling it up the incline right uh, the first force is the force being applied by the sphere r and then uh, the force of gravity gravity parallel to the plane so those forces are equal to the tension so the tension is bigger than uh, those two forces okay so let me go ahead and do that so i'm going to have a uh, tension uh, minus f g uh, parallel uh, minus um f uh applied by r right which we are given as 1.2 times 10 to the minus 3 newton so the tension is our unknown so there we have it uh so this will this is going to be let's take uh fg parallel and fr to the other side therefore we're gonna have fg parallel uh plus f uh, the electrostatic force exerted by r right so this is t equals to fg parallel on an incline we know that uh, that gives us um the mass uh, multiplied by gravity and then a uh, sine of the angle right sine theta uh plus uh, th 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 that one we are given is it's 1.2 times 10 to the minus 3 newton so now um the mass of a uh, sphere s uh if you read through the equation uh, you can see that the mass of sphere s is given as 0 0.01 kg yeah there it is i just covered it then so we have 0 0.01 kg uh multiplied by force of gravity 9.8 uh sine of uh there we have the angle 25 degrees uh plus 1.2 times 10 to the minus 3 so let me go ahead and put that in my calculator real quick uh get um 0 0.01 uh, multiplied by 9.8 uh, sine of 25 uh, plus 1.2 to the minus 3 uh, that gives me uh, that is that is equal to 0 0.04 uh, or 2 so that will just be 0 0.04 uh newtons so that's uh, the tension uh, that is uh between sphere s and point p uh let's move ahead uh, last but not least uh 7.4.2 uh, net electric field at point p uh, we know that the equation for electric field is e equals to k 
uh, q uh, divided by r squared or is equals to um, f uh, divided by q so we don't we so in this question we're going to use uh, this formula e equals to k q uh, divided by r squared uh, instead of uh, this formula here because we don't have uh, the charge of of p right so we cannot use that formula um so let's go ahead and do that but then before we carry on uh one thing to realize is that um s and r have opposing effects uh r is positive so if p is positive it will be getting repelled uh, but then if it's negative it will be getting uh, pulled and then uh, sphere s it will do the opposite if it is negative it will attract and then if it is positive it will pull apart so one between we have to put a negative sign uh, between either uh, the electric field for sphere r or the electric field for sphere s right uh, so that will be e net um, equals to e exerted by q uh, plus e exerted by s right um, so okay e net equals to uh so q uh no exited by r i'm sorry uh said q instead of r so the k we know what k is that's nine times ten to the nine and then q ah and then r the charge for r uh, that is uh five times ten uh to the minus nine uh, divided by r squared okay at uh, the distance between r and p is uh, look at the left hand side uh, the sum of uh, this distance and this distance right so it means that here on the denominator we're supposed to have r we calculated it it was a uh, 0 0.015 meters so that is 0 0.015 plus 0 0.03 and then uh, we square that and then plus uh, 9 times 10 uh, to the 9 and then the charge of uh, sphere s minus 6 uh, times 10 uh, minus 9 uh, divided by the the distance is 0 0.03 uh, squared uh, which is equals to uh, let me put that in the calculator real quick and see what i get um yeah that is giving me a uh, minus uh, 37 uh, seven 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 point uh, seven eight uh, nano per column and then yeah that's it for this question uh, we're done um, so the key key points the things to remember um, if you're completing F using K Q1 Q2 uh, divided by R squared no need to include the sign of the charges uh, but then if you're calculating uh, the electric field exerted by uh, two point charges on one on another point then that's where you have to use uh, you have to consider the sign right